Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do a, your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking. Thank you for uh, sharing, commenting. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me, Cancer. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Cancer, I was doing your reading and then the, the camera battery exhausted. So let's start off here. So the two cards that came out or five of cups and the hermit could be dealing with Scorpio Virgo it doesn't have to be but these are energies where um, deep introspection okay in terms of your emotions here with the five of cups what does that mean that means that maybe you being apart from somebody right now you're understanding um, how you feel or you're really in your feelings about maybe being apart from them here um, you're looking at this as a disappointment that something didn't work out or it's not working out or it's not turning out how you thought it would. There could also be regret, resentment, remorse, maybe for keeping a relationship, you know, with a high level of volatility or instability, maybe because there were other people involved in the connection. Um, or somebody was too focused on social activities and socializing and friends and just other people other things could even be other love partners here somebody also regret not saying things not you know not being honest about maybe their emotions exactly how they felt as I say later I have a tingle in my throat so maybe it's like somebody just could not really express themselves for whatever reason there could be blockage in the throat chakra in the heart chakra so it looks like you and somebody are estranged, separated with the Hermit card. And in this, there's a bit of self-discovery happening for you and maybe even for the other person. It looks like somebody's looking for answers outside of themselves, looking for validation, you know, wanting to talk this over with somebody else to see what they think and see if they're on board with how you think and trying to validate yourself. But it says the answer is within you. You don't need the outside validation. What is this about? Yeah, somebody could be having a change of personality also, you know, apart from this person. Maybe your, your perspective is changing. Your philosophy about relationships or being together is changing. Ten of swords, something is over. You know, there's despair. There's disappointment. Maybe it just is over all of a sudden. Uh, maybe somebody has ghosted with a hermit card there. Um, and now the other person feels a level of uh, rejection. Um the rela it said that the relationship was real volatile again with the ten of swords like you just didn't know what you're going to get from week to week day to day you know it was up it was down it was in it was out could be dealing with an air sign gemini libra aquarius gemini is highlighted here it just seems as if maybe this person could even be kicking you while you're down saying things or um if they're not doing this then it's just it just seems as if uh it came out of nowhere you were blindsided with this maybe you felt like you were getting over it and now it's back again you felt like you guys got over the hump but now you're back not talking ghosting what's going on for cancer here the universe yes something is definitely over with the knight of pentacles here and it seems as if either you or the other person nobody's making a move here especially with the knight of pentacles not now you know, someone standing still for whatever reason. Um, stubbornness also. Somebody could be very stubborn, uh, not willing to make the first step or make the first move here. The universe could be dealing with a fixed sign. Uh, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. Um, there could have been a lesson in this relationship here also for you and the other person. It's time to, to close the book on this. Um, and either write another book together or apart. It just is what it is here with the universe. It's time for this relationship to mature also. There needs to be some profit, some turnover here in this relationship. And if nothing is building, is profiting, is prosper, is prospering, if there's no prosperity here, you just let it go. It seems as if somebody really wants the connection here with the temperance card. They want to make it back right, put it back together, compromise. Um, someone sees wealth with you. Um, a wealthy connection with you or vice versa this is what you see with them or it's mutual somebody wants to take the middle ground here it says that if things are going well it's going to continue to go well there is hope or promise for it to get better if it is not going so great 
But somebody's got to take the next step. It says that maybe divine, divine intervention with the temperance card. That's the only way that you two are coming back together. Let's see what uh, is going on for career and finance for cancer. Career, finance for cancer. The lovers, you could be making a choice here about um, what you love to do and then what brings you money here. Um, there could be a love relationship interfering with your work also with the lovers here because it talks about interference. Four of Cups, yeah. You could be kind of doing some boring work, something that has you despondent where there's not a lot of creativity or activity here. You kind of checked out. Um, you feel like you missed out on an opportunity. Yeah, to a sword, you feel like you missed out on an opportunity. But it says that you'll have opportunity for it to come back together, for you to reconcile with this opportunity. Um, you just have to weigh the pros and the cons of making this choice and then a decision. Are you going to go after maybe it looks like entrepreneurial endeavor or are you going to stay where you are? Um, you have something has to be in cooperation. The five of pentacles. Yeah, it's just like maybe lack of confidence in yourself. And, and that comes because you just don't know. So you don't know how it's going to turn out. You don't have a plan. The two of swords also talks about planning. The high priestess, there's you also. Um, yeah, you need a plan here. You need to keep your plans to yourself. Um, you're going to have to make a decision about what you're doing. The universe is asking you to make this decision because they're trying to get behind your plans. But you have no plan and you haven't made a decision. So what are they getting behind? So once you get a plan and you have more knowledge about how you're going to do this thing or how you're going to institute this thing or make it happen, you can move forward. But until then, you know, it's just it's, it's at a place of standstill of indecision. This is what I have for you, Cancer. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section, okay? Go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. If you took anything from the reading, you could give back. Thank you, Cancer. Many blessings to you. Take care.